Oh, well, here it is. The line of blood, the truth of Alfred Howard. Isn't it great? That. Um, I wrote this because Alfred Howard happens to be an Anne's sister of mine. And he was the explorer. He was, he was a, a botanist, geologist. He was a, a, a senior public servant, but he happened to be one of Australia's earliest and probably most influential anthropologist. And as an anthropologist, he was a social evolutionist. <laughs> However you say that. <laughs> social evolutionist. And so what he was trying to prove was Aboriginal people were really at the lowest base of the human evolutionary pyramid with the British and British culture at the very apex, Aboriginal people at the very bottom. So what that probably resulted in was Alfred excusing, if you like, the what he had described as the line of blood, which was the line of white occupation resulting in blood of First Nations people. So murder, massacre, of the whole bit. Because he saw it as the iron law of racial replacement. So where a superior race, the British, would replace an inferior race, Australian Aboriginals. It was like physics, it just had to happen. And the reason I wrote it ultimately was that the Uluru Statement of the Heart challenged people like me, who were the ancestors of earlier colonialists, challenged me to reflect on the role the, the family, the actual Howard family had in sh shaping Aboriginal and white relations in Australia. And I hopefully th th that's what's happened. Read it and let me know.